Father, we thank you. And Daddy, we bless you. Fill my heart, Lord. I lift it up, Lord. Come on, quench the star stain of my soul. Bread of life, fill me till I overflow. Fill my heart, oh yes, fill it up and let it flow. We are looking at the backsliding state. And we said to backslide is to fall away from the Lord and his will. To backslide is to fall away from the Lord and his will. It is a state where men fall from grace. When you believe, you embrace Christ, you now walk in grace. God's riches become available to you at Christ's expense. But along the line, if you are not careful, if you are not watchful, little by little by little, you backslid. You go astray. A person may go wrong. A person may lapse, regress, retrogress, sin, sleep. A lot of words coming to talk about the backsliding state. So to backslide means a falling from the Lord and his way. We are bringing these messages to say that we need to constantly examine our lives, examine our ways to make sure that we are standing in the faith well and good. Apostle John in the book of Revelation had some interesting letters to the churches. We had looked at the letter to the church in Ephesus. We had looked at the church, the letter to the church in Sardis, where he said in Revelation 3, 15, 16, that thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot. If you want to define backsliding again, aside from those definitions we have given, you can say it is a state where you are lukewarm. You are neither hot nor cold. A state where you have lost your fervency. It is where the things you used to do, the things you used to love, the, your fellowship with God, you no more do them. You don't find joy anymore in the presence of God. The things of God don't make meaning anymore to you. You, 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 you lose fellowship. It didn't come suddenly. Sometimes for those who are backsliding, they don't even know that they are backsliding. They just continue fellowshipping. Some may not have stopped church, still going to church, but that's emptiness that void is there we are saying no then let's examine let's take a spiritual temperature of our lives of ourselves and see how fervent are we are we still in fellowship do we still have our first love like the letter that was written to the church in sardis in ephesus do we still have it or have we fallen away the question we come how do i know that i have backsliding proverbs 14 14 Proverbs 14, 14 says, A backslider in heart shall be filled with his own ways. When you are backsliding, you are filled with your own ways, not with the ways of God. Your own will is what you want, not God's will. But when you are not backsliding, you find out that your passion is to do the will of God. Like we said in our last clip of loving God with all of your heart, with all of your soul, with all of your might. We define love to say you want to please the person. You enjoy fellowship with the person. You, 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 want, you do all you can to make the person happy. But a backslider in heart is not interested. Does God like this or he doesn't like it? It's your own ways you like, your own will, what you want. It is no more. Thy will be done. Thy will alone be done. Oh, teach me from my heart to say. Thy will be done. It is no more God's will, but your own will. And then we begin to see the permissive will of God. In marriages, in our activities, we no more seek the face of God. But when you are fervent, when you are, the time you are in truly in love with God, when you have not fallen out, remember we say backsliding simply is falling away from the Lord and his will. It is your will that is now paramount. So we say that the backslider in heart is filled with his own ways, not the ways of God. Your own will. You want God to fall to your own dictates. And you find this happening a lot in the doctrine of dispensation of grace that is being bastardized. The preaching on the grace, most people are now distorting it. They say grace. We enjoy God's grace at Christ's riches. Christ has paid the price for us. And because he has paid the price for us, you need to do nothing. No, 
There is a Godward path and there is a Mugward path. It is not God that will come and uh, 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 keep your zipper up for you, no? It is not God that will watch what you say, watch what you do. It is not God that will make sure you don't hurt somebody, that your words are edifying and pleasing, you are encouraging. It is not God that will do a lot of things for you. You do them by yourself. You do them by yourself. So where now you say, no, grace has covered me, and you err, and you continue to walk in error, then you are filled with your own ways, and you are walking in your own ways. That is the position now for Christendom. About 80% of Christendom, they are walking in their ways. They are not saying, oh God, change me, renew me, help me. No, it's, ah, I like this one. I like it, I like it. Uh, God has paid the price for everybody. So you don't make an effort to discipline yourself and your passions become filled with your own ways. So this morning we are saying that examine your ways as I examine my ways and let's see how are we doing our own thing and not the will of God. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. First Timothy 6, 9. First Timothy 6, 9 talks about hurtful lusts. Hurtful laws that have drawn men in perdition. So we talk about laws. It's not only in um, sexual sins, no. In words, in thoughts, you know, in cravings, sleeping, eating. Just things that we do that is not right. That defies the body because you are the temple of God. And we do these things deliberately and we deliberately hurt others. God doesn't want us to do all of those things. So Proverbs 14, 14 says, A backslider is filled in his own ways. A very simple, quick test. Are you filled with your own ways? Is it the will of God? Or do you say, my will, my will, what I want, what I want. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. It's not about us, it's about God. May the Lord help us in Jesus' name. And you may not have known him, so this does not apply to you. We are talking about backsliding, a falling away from the Lord. It will be out there, you don't even know Jesus at all, at all, at all. You've not even heard about him. There are some people who have not had. It is our pleasure to present to you Jesus. When you fellowship with him, it is so pleasing. It is so edifying. It is so inspiring. In Christ Jesus, there is only joy, joy, joy. Even when negative things happen, you still have your joy. Why? Because you know Romans 8.28, that all things work together for good for those who believe. So in Christ Jesus, it is a win-win situation all the time. There are times, of course, it may seem like the devil is winning. No. He's not winning because our God is bigger and greater. Colossians 2 10 says that Christ is the head of all principalities and powers. So if he's the head, they are all under him. So this morning we present to you Jesus. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Just John 14 6. There are Lord and Savior Jesus speaking. Say, I am the way, I am the truth. Don't look at people, don't look at how people do. You say, ah, it is a sad Christianity, it is a church. It's no. From what you have said, you can see that some have fallen from the faith. Big men of God, big churches abroad, you can see. A lot of churches have left the faith. They are now preaching another gospel, not this gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So you don't use them as a yardstick. The yardstick is as contained in the word of God, the Bible. Follow suit, follow that. And not your will and your way. May the Lord bless us and help us in Jesus' name. You may repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, forgive me my sin. Have mercy on me. Once you said that prayer, so simple. How simple is it? Simple because our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has paid the price for you and for me on the cross of Calvary. All you need to do, I need to do, is to receive that free gift. And get a Bible, get a daily devotional, get to the Word. Get to the word. The Android is good for further studies, but to have a real fellowship, the book Bible is good because it will help you to concentrate. Concentrate, then go further to the net for more information. Like we're on backsliding now, you can go and type and get more information. But for devotionals, use the book Bible to study, to read. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. This continents of favor and of mercy never leave us all. We are online TV, church on the air. Please, you also need a Bible-believing church to attend, a physical church to attend. 
There, there is a pastor, your own pastor, waiting to receive you. There to you find your family, your brothers and your sisters in Christ. God loves it when we fellowship together. As you fellowship, the Lord bless you, keep you. His countenance of favor and of mercy never leave us all. And if we have erred, knowing him, but we now walk in our own ways, our will and not his will, and forcing others to do our will, not their will, may the Lord forgive us, may he renew us and strengthen us, and give us grace to go back to our first love in the mighty name of Jesus. My name is Pastor Mrs. Edith Atake, Genova Sea Banner of Love Ministries International. On Facebook, we have five vibrant pages. Search the scriptures, nation building, when you pray and I pray, ministers of the church. We have edifying messages there. We've posted a lot of things that will encourage you and strengthen you. Follow suit, post, share the word. Download the free Bible app that have good illustrations. Share the word. A Bible inscription every day, you'll be surprised how it will bless someone. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you always. Thank you very much.